Hey, welcome to Let's Eat with Russ. Today I'm going to show you how to make cream cheese and serrano chili stuffed burgers. So I've had the cream cheese sitting out on the counter for a little while so it could get a little softer and easier to work with. I'm going to go ahead and just use my ulu knife to chop up these serrano chilies really quick. You can use jalapenos, but the way I learned how to do it was with the serranos and uh, they're a little bit spicier, which is my preference personally. So again, with the Uli knife, it's pretty easy, but you can just chop these up uh, on any cutting board as well. Kind of want to get them pretty ch finely chopped. You want the pieces to be a little smaller so it uh, kind of distributes throughout the, uh, the filling a little bit better. So let me just get these finished really quick here. This is probably more Serranos than I need for the amount of cheese that I have. And I'm just going to make three of these burgers in this particular video, so I don't need a ton of the filling. If you overfill the burgers, they tend to just leak out when they're cooking anyway, which sometimes still happens. But So I'm going to get the cheese in a bowl and get this mixed up really quick. So again, this is two whole serrano chilies that I chopped up. Obviously, they're not always exactly the same size. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and figure out how much I should add to the cheese to get it to a, a decent ratio. And of course, you can adjust the heat of the burgers a little bit by adding, you know, more or less. Eh, I'm just going to put it all in there. And then just give it a good press around to mix it together. And this is basically all you need. I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper on the actual burgers, but this adds enough flavor that you kind of don't need much. Plus, like I said, I'm going to use the, um, actually I didn't say it on this video yet. I'm going to use uh, some sriracha mayo that I mixed up on the actual hamburger buns, which also I'm going to toast those a little bit under the broiler, just because that's my preference. You can do it with the buns toasted or not it doesn't really make that much difference whatever you like better so yeah that's a pretty good mix there all right I'm going to start assembling the burgers in just a second here all right so I've got three balls of ground beef here for a burger to be honest I know everybody likes to go for leaner they think low fat is healthier and all that but if you're making a burger I really prefer to use the higher fat content ground beef so whatever it is the 70 30 or 73 whatever it is I like the more fat. Um, I've weighed these all out on my kitchen scale. Highly recommend having a kitchen scale. Uh, these are just under a half a pound. They're about six and a half to seven ounces, each of these three balls here. So I'm just going to eyeball it and split them in half. And then I'm using a plastic cutting board because I think it'll uh, come off of the cutting board a little easier. So you want to make the burger patties a little on the thin side and a little oversized because it's going to shrink when they cook. Plus, it gives you room to kind of crimp um, the edges when you put the filling in because you're going to put a second one on top. So, I'll show you the first one and then I'll just handle the other one so you don't have to just sit through it and watch over and over. So, that's about good enough. You obviously want to get them to be pretty much around the same size. And you want to try to keep it kind of together as best you can. I rushed that a little bit, fix it here on the plate. So that's about it. And then you just take some of our cheese and serrano chili mix that we already made. You don't need as much as you might think, just a little dollop in the middle, maybe spread it around a little bit. It'll spread as it cooks and heats anyway. So we want to get that in there. Yeah, I'll add a little bit more. And then once we got our filling, we just go ahead and... God, this one wants to fall apart on me for some reason. I'm just going to reform it. Well, this is not working out the way I was supposed to. Let me try it on the cutting board again. I also left the beef sitting out so it would not be so... Um, cold and firm so that could be part of the issue here too it might have worked a little better if it was colder and this would be fine so yeah then you just want to go ahead and cover that filling with the other patty and as best you can 
try to kind of form the edges of the two patties together so that they're sort of sealed. And uh, there you have it. So your burger is stuffed with the cream cheese and the Serrano chilies. Like I said, I'll hit these with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to go ahead and make the other two, and then we'll start cooking. Alright, our pan should be hot, using the cast iron grill pan again. And again, just a good way to test if your pan's hot. Just flick a little water in there, and if it kind of dances around and vaporizes almost instantly, it's pretty good. I've only got the stove set to medium heat, but the cast iron absorbs and holds on to so much of the heat, so it's good to compensate for a weaker stove, or uh, if you really want to get a good sear on something. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of sort of lubricant in here. It's just uh, lard that I made myself. It's homemade lard. I'll show how to do that in a different video eventually. And it's okay if it smokes up just a little bit, because once I get the meat in there, it's going to get a little smoky anyway. So because this pan's not super big and the burgers are on the larger side, I'm just going to do them one at a time. So I already got my salt and pepper and everything. Like I said, they're already stuffed and ready to go. So I'm just going to plop that guy right in there. And I'll probably not issue any instructions on this part. I'm just going to probably time lapse the cooking process until it's done. All right, burgers cooked. Took about, mm, I gave it about seven or eight minutes at a pretty decent heat. Just spoon some of this uh, sriracha mayo onto our toasted bun here. And I don't really put any vegetables on this particular type of burger. I don't do, you know, lettuce and onion and tomato and all of that. I mean, you can, but I don't think it needs it. And it seems like a little bit of a weird clash with the uh, filling, in my opinion, of the uh, burgers. So let me just grab that patty. See, and this is why I try to make it a little oversized because it's going to shrink and it'll still barely fit to the bun anyway. So that's basically that. And I'm telling you, that is a pretty good hamburger right there. So I'm actually going to bite into it and probably burn myself just to show you how the filling goes here. See there, you can see the cheese and the chilies inside. Really good. Anyway, give it a try. Hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.